Do I love this more than Morgan? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Wiggy Wednesday. So for today's video, I'm doing a first impression on this unit right here that was sent to me by Main Concept. But before we get into all the specs and what I think about the unit, share out the pack. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Now let's go ahead and get into this first impression. Okay, so this unit was sent to me by Main Concept. It is from their Brown Sugar Invisible Whole Lace Wig Line. It is the unit Birch, and I got her in the color Prussian Blue. Now the price point for this unit does depend on where you buy the unit from. It does retail between $65 and $70, so just within that high price point for synthetic wigs. This is what her stock card looks like. Um, it is like a little pamphlet, so it does open up and tell you some deets about the hair and also the ways you can part the unit. I will say this is like a 13 by 6 lace frontal area. Even though it does say invisible whole lace, here on the front the unit is not all lace um it's just like the you know the mesh cap in the back and then it has the lace parting area here in the front so i would say it's about a 13 by 6 it looks bigger than a 13 by 4 so i don't think it's a 13 by 4 but if i'm wrong i will tell you down below but just know it's some parting area up here so you can do a, a deep left right side part or like a middle part zigzag part cornrows in the middle whatever you want to do you can do that just like your all the other you know synthetic lace part units let me come up so y'all can see this hairline I didn't put any powder in the hairline because I wanted to see how it blended down without it. And I think it blended down really well. Could I use a little bit of powder? A little bit of powder? Um, maybe, but I'm not. Um, when I do my update in a month, because I will be doing an update on this hair, I may do some powder, but I'll let you guys know. But I think right now how it looks, I don't need any powder. At least how it looks on the monitor. Now, I didn't go in and glue heavy on my side, so it may lift up a little bit if you guys can see that. But you know, don't worry about that. The difference between this cap construction and, say, like another unit um, that I reviewed on the channel, say like Morgan or something, is the make of the cap. This cap is made of like, I don't know, some type of mesh material. I don't know what it is, but it's a very, very fully ventilated, breathable breathable material um, in this cap, and it makes it very, very stretchy and very, very comfortable to wear. I have never in my whole entire wig life had a cap like this. This is my first time having a cap like this and I must say they slayed this cap down. It is big head friendly. I would dare to say, even though I don't have a small head, I have a big head, um, it can be a small head friendly unit um, because the way the cap stretches. It does come with the two combs on the side as well as one comb in the back and the adjustable straps. So I do believe if you use adjustable straps, if you have a smaller head, the cap will still fit down perfectly to the size of your head. This cap is definitely very forgiving. When I put this cap on it fit down perfectly but if I needed to adjust it to move it forward without the back moving I believe put the comb up into the back of my naps and I stretched the cap down and it adjusted perfectly to my head size y'all when I say amazing this cap construction is amazing now this unit does come with a pre-plucked hairline and baby hairs um, to give you more of a natural look I do wish the hairline was plucked a little bit more than what it is however for how it is right now it looks okay Okay, it does give you some sideburns, even though I don't use sideburns. I did go in and put some of the baby hairs down just because I wanted it for this look. Um, however, you do not have to do that. But I will say when I did comb the baby hairs back, it definitely made the hairline look a little bit more thicker. Um, so you would have to go in and pluck it out a little bit if you want to just wear the hair straight back without any type of baby hair action. Um, that's just how I see it, especially with wearing the hair straight down. Now I did wear the hair straight down initially, um, but I wanted to give you guys an updo now if you want to see how I did this updo I will link my budget to baddie video right up here so you guys can see how I did this style um, on my Morgan unit this unit is 20 inches um, based on the stock card comes down past my chest area as you can see so it is definitely long it's not tangling so it looks really good this is how it looks in the back um, I'll insert a clip right here of how it looks in the back when I part the hair having it out you guys can see the mesh cap right there the texture of this hair is a human hair style mix it doesn't say that it's heat safe but I'm pretty sure that it is to be on the safe side I would say about 350 to 400 degrees like the normal baseline for synthetic units because this unit flows so well I don't feel like you need any type of heat on this unit right away unless you like you know decide to curl it or something like that but the way that it feels right now you guys it feels like butter like if butter was a texture sweet if I was to run butter through my fingers it would feel like this hair that's how soft this hair is you guys it, the best fur in the world soft like it it feels good right yeah, it doesn't feel scratchy. 
Now all my waves feel scratchy, okay? That you know, feels good. It feels good, yeah, but you like the Morgan one, the burgundy one? Like that one's soft too, right? But isn't this one softer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you heard it here first. This unit literally reminds me of one of my two favorite units on this channel. You guys know I love Sensational Morgan, and you know that I love Main Concept Chardonnay. If I put those two units together, I'm pretty sure I would get this unit. It has the style and the feel and the look of Morgan with the thickness and the softness of Chardonnay. I will tell you, my girl, let's begin. She is a new YouTuber. She had this unit like months ago. I don't, I'm not sure when this unit first dropped um but she had it i'm assuming when it first came out and y'all she slayed this unit down and she wore it a couple times when i say a couple i mean a lot <laughs> so not just two <laughs> But she wore it more than once, okay? More than two times. I think she had like pigtails in one. She had it straight out. She had a slick back, you know, low ponytail. She slayed that unit down. I will link her channel down below so you guys can check her out. Now, I have had a little bit of shedding with this unit. Have not had any tangles with it at all. No tangles, no snags, no nothing. This hair is... Look at that, right on through, okay? Beep, beep, get out my way. The luster of the hair is on point. It's not too shiny, but it's not too dull either. If this is too shiny for you, you can use some cornstarch or powder to dull it down a little bit. Now, will I say, do I love this more than Morgan? Oof. I will say because it's like a go between my Morgan and my Chardonnay unit, I will say she's up there. I will say she's about a neck and neck. That's what I will say because I love my Morgan in my burgundy wine color. Nobody's beating that color. Nobody. But this Prussian blue, right there, like a point millisecond. <laughs> right there. Like they right, they neck and neck, okay? Have this unit. Let me know what you think about it down below. If you like it, if you don't like it, oops, sorry for you, because I love mine. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this unit as a whole down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.